Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some of the strangest carvings found in ancient Indian temples. And if you watch till the end of the video, I hope you will agree with me that they were using very advanced technology during ancient times. Look at this ancient carving in the Sun Temple at Modara, built around 1000 years ago. This figure is holding something unique. It does not look like a weapon, but rather like a long rectangular strip. Do you realize what this is? This is a ruler, a rule or a line gauge, just like what we use for measurement today. When we zoom in, we can actually see the markings on the ruler. Look at this statue. The same figure is clearly shown holding a ruler with clear markings. This is a spectacular find because I've shown you so many ancient temples and we often wonder about how the builders made such accurate measurements. Now you know ancient builders used measuring instruments just like what we use today. Now sadly, look, this figure has a total of four hands and the other three have been completely destroyed. This destruction was done by human beings to intentionally destroy ancient knowledge. Because the other hands, if in good shape, would also give us important clues about ancient technology. So who does this carving represent? He is an ancient architect by the name of Vishwakarman. He is known for his very advanced engineering projects, including the construction of Dwaraka, a city which is now submerged under water. Now, Vishwakarman is still worshipped in many parts of India, and look at the iconography. In one hand, he holds a rule, and in the other hand, he holds a measuring tape. Remember, architects need flexible measuring tape because most structures won't be flat or straight. In another hand, he is holding a scroll or a palm leaf. Why? This is where he would not only write down all the information, but he also has to draw the layout and create a perfect blueprint before starting to build anything. But in the fourth hand, he holds that bag, that mysterious bag which is carved around the world being used by various characters. And this bag is never shown touching the ground. What is inside this bag? Is it an energy device? Only gods know the secret. Look behind him and you will see plenty of tools just like what modern architects use. Angle finders, devices to measure if the surface is perfectly parallel or perpendicular, and many other interesting tools. But look at this carving found in an ancient temple at Shimoga. What is going on here? There's something very, very strange about this carving. This figure is shown wearing a thick outfit, deliberately carved to show it is some kind of a heavy suit. But the real shocker is that weird thing on his head. It does not even look like a mask. It has a strange bell shape worn over the head, apparently has openings for eyes, and a huge circle near the forehead area. It definitely has antennas attached to the top, like astronauts. Now, in one hand, he's holding this helmet or whatever it is, and in the other hand, he's holding a large circular device. 
what is this device and what is the purpose of it? But this is nothing when compared to these two carvings found in another ancient temple. This is just mind-boggling and it flies in the face of our understanding of history. The woman on the left is holding a device near her ear and mouth, just like how we use a modern-day cell phone. The device is rectangular and very thin, just like today's smartphones. She's holding a large round device in another hand as well. Very similar to what we saw in the previous carving. This is probably a futuristic device which we still haven't invented. Look at the other woman. She is clearly holding a flat, thin, rectangular tablet computer and she is using an electric stylus to touch the screen, just like how we use our iPads or Android tablets today. Carvings in Hindu temples very often show things from the distant past and the future. If cell phones were invented only in the last 50 years, how was it carved many centuries ago? One caveat here, Someone sent me this picture via social media and I could not find the exact location of this temple, even though it is said to be somewhere in the state of Gujarat. I sincerely hope this is not a hoax or a recent carving or a Photoshop or something. And if you know the location of it, please tell me in the comment section. Look at this sculpture. It is from a temple called Raniki Vav, built around 1000 AD. So this carving is about 1000 years old. She's clearly putting on lipstick. Look at how her lips are shown and look at what she is doing. This is lipstick, no doubt, and this is an ancient carving. If you ask a historian, he will typically say, Lipstick was invented in 1884 in France, but you can see these women were using it a thousand years ago in India. Here is an 800-year-old carving found in a Hindu temple known as Chenna Kesava Temple. You can see these two figures mounted on an elephant, but the real eye-catcher is this device he's holding. There is a rod-like structure in the middle, but on either end, there are pointed rectangles or rhombus-like structures. What is this device called? This weapon is called Vajra and is clearly mentioned in ancient texts, and it is described as capable of creating a thunderbolt. This weapon could create as much energy as a lightning strike. This is about one billion, yes, a billion joules of energy. It is definitely similar to a type of advanced Tesla coil with primary and secondary coils with a transformer and a capacitor in between. Or this could be using Maser technology, using diamonds or other crystals. Whatever it may be, we can definitely see some advanced technology used in ancient times because the sculptor could not have randomly imagined such a high-tech device. Now, let's look at this carving, which definitely raises some questions. Found in an ancient Shiva temple at Shimoga, it shows a woman in standing position wrapping a man tightly with some type of a fabric or sheet. This man is in a sitting position, and even though there may be other explanations for this, we cannot help but think of mummification. Is this woman mummifying this man to preserve his body? We have all heard of Egyptian mummies, but why do we see such a carving in India? Believe it or not, ancient Indians 
also mummified and preserved bodies, especially of saints. For example, in Sri Rangam Temple, Saint Ramanuja's body is mummified and is held in an underground tomb. But if we go to the state of Himachal Pradesh, we can see a strange mummy called the mummy of Sangha Tenzin. This mummy is kept inside a temple and you can see how it is still in remarkable shape and in the same sitting posture, just like what we see in the carving. Why did ancient people mummify and preserve bodies? There should have been a scientific reason behind this. And here is another intriguing carving found in the water. There is a lingam placed in the water, but it is the pattern carved on the riverbed, which baffles us. What does this mean? It clearly looks like a complicated maze where something could get lost. Why is it carved underwater? Imagine pouring mercury on top of this lingam and how it would flow through the pattern. Is it related to some type of advanced technology? Or is it some kind of spiritual science which has been lost due to time? Whatever it may be, this is one strange carving underwater. Most of these pictures were sent to me by viewers like you through social media, and I really appreciate all these pictures you guys are sending me, but this means there could also be some errors about locations and other information, but I've tried to provide the best information possible, and I've given credits for the contributors as well. I hope you guys like this video. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell button to get all the updates. Please give this video a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.